to my channel, Button and Pip. Thank you for popping along today. My channel is all about my dressmaking journey, so if that's something that you'd like to watch, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would be absolutely brilliant. Now, today what I'm going to talk about is my journey into coat making. In the last four years, I have become more confident in my dressmaking and I have now got to the point where I, I actually make most of my clothes, if not all my clothes. I've only bought one thing recently and that was a pair of jeans just because it's coming to autumn and I just feel like I just want a pair of jeggings, stretchy jeans that I can just stick on. So I hold my hands up, I've bought something, but one thing that has always really challenged me or made me um, a little bit worried about making is actually a coat. So what I'm going to talk about today is the two coats that I've currently made, show you the journey that I've been on with those and this year I am going to challenge myself and make a proper lined full shebang coat. So let me first tell you about the first coat I ever made. So the first coat, I went with an easy pattern. So this is the Lola coat from Sew so Over It from I think the E-City, uh, sorry, the e-book, The City Break. And it, as soon as I saw the e-book, I knew that I love that coat. It's a waterfall coat. And when I got the book and I looked at all the instructions, it was really simple to make because it comes in small, medium, large, I think extra large, but there is no problem or no issue with fitting. So it was a perfect place to start. Now, the one thing that also puts me off about coat making is the amount of fabric that you actually need. So when I was actually at Birmingham Rag Market, I picked up this, um, I don't even know if it's full wool, I'm not sure, but it was five pounds a meter. So it's this gorgeous, I think it's wool, I'm not sure, but it's reversible. So that is one way and that is the other side. And I didn't know originally which side I'd choose, but I went with sort of the lighter um, color on the outside. Now putting it together, it was, let me put it on actually. I've had so much wear out of this coat and it is just so comfortable. I wish it was a little bit thicker actually so I could go all the way through winter with it, but I just absolutely love it. Let me see if I can pop up. So it's a waterfall coat and there is two options with this one. You can make a short one, but I went for the long one and I had enough fabric at this price as well to make the long one. And it's got some lovely big pockets. And I've worn this before actually with a belt that looks gorgeous as well so that was my first one and I went a little bit wrong inserting one where is it this one one of the sleeves because making a coat you have an immense amount of fabric and trying to get it through your sewing machine could be a little bit tricky and one of the seams doesn't completely match up and there's a bit of a pinch there, but you can't tell. And because it's such a loose fit, it doesn't matter. So that was my first one, which I actually have so much wear out of. Now my second one, let me pop this off. <laughs> it's gonna be on, off, on, off. Well, I've actually got two, so on, off, on, off. So my second one, again, it was from a ebook from Sew so Over It. This was the Work to Wardrobe. No, it wasn't. Yeah, the Work to Wardrobe, the second one. And this is the Anna Coats. So this time, I wanted to challenge myself to have more details, have more structure, but still have a loose fit so that I don't have to worry about getting those seams exactly correct, get my shoulders, my hips, my waist, all correct. So let me put this one on to show you. Now this one isn't lined, okay? So it's got some lovely big lapels, okay? Lovely collar there, and it's got some details on the, I don't even know what they're called actually. I should have looked before. And then some lovely sort of gathering around the shoulders. And this also came together really well. Again, another bargain fabric. This was from B&M's, um, fabrics in uh, Leeds. So I bought this last year at the Sew Up North make uh, meetup. And it's lovely. But because it's not lined, I don't think I've had that much wear out of it. Let me show you when it's done up. So it doesn't have any fastenings there. You just use the belt to pull it together. 
and I love it. Someone did say it looks a bit like a dressing gown, but do you know what? I made it, so I don't care. But yeah, I love it. But it feels more formal, so I've worn it to work a few times, and they have done a tutorial online, one of their vlogs, about how to line it. But because I'd already made it, I just was like, no, it's done. I'm not going backwards. But yeah, so that's a lovely one. And it's got pockets as well. Can't criticise a pattern with pockets. So yeah, that's my second one. Now, as you can see, I went quite loose, a little bit more structure. Now, this is the big one. <laughs> Sounds like it's like, ooh. But I am feeling a little bit nervous about this. So... I got this book from uh, the New Craft House Raffle Prize. I was slightly a little bit overexcited actually when I won the raffle that I kind of screamed. I'd had a few jeans so I was like, ah, like this. I was really excited because I've seen this book for quite a while and after making the kilo wrap dress, it's got me really loving some of the named patterns. Now, looking through this book is absolutely lovely. I'm going to get this page. So I can show you. So I'm going to make the coat that's actually on the cover. And it's called the Halak Coat. Now I'm going to hold this up. If you haven't seen this book, have a look. I hope this is showing because I can't quite see if I've definitely got it. But it's a little bit like the Anna Coat. In the fact that it's got a lovely colour. But it's got some fake lapels. It's kind of stitched in. Again, minimal fastenings. It's got some, I think, poppers just to hold it shut. Which... This one doesn't have, and it's got some lovely patchwork, big pockets. Can't criticise a pocket. So, yes, yeah, some really lovely big ones, and this one is lined as well. So, let me talk about the fabric that I've got for this. Now, it's this beautiful coating fabric from Oso. Oh now, she describes this as vegan wool, because it doesn't actually have any wool in it. Let me pop the book there. It's 80% um, polyester, 20% viscose, which makes it perfect because I won't need to worry about dry cleaning it. Even though you don't really need to wash your coats too much, um, so dry cleaning wouldn't be too much of a hassle, but it's nice just to have that peace of mind that if I get spill something down me that I can just bring it into the washing machine. So it's this lovely lilac colour, and it is so super soft. I'm really really impressed with this and I've picked up three meters of it it is very bulky so this is the thing it's going to be more difficult to put through my sewing machine than my Anna coat um, but this is what I mean it's a journey and I'm hoping that the skills that I've learned from both of these makes will help me with this one now this one is to be lined and currently I haven't chosen any lining because I was going to go for some viscose and then I read somewhere that having a viscose on the inside can be a little bit difficult putting them on and off and to go for more of a shiny lining. So I think with the lining, I need to take a small sample of this in, go into an actual shop, feel the linings and then find the lining that way. And I am thinking whether a dark purple or even a gray would look really nice with this. Um, so yeah, I need to get on with the lining actually. I've, I've printed out the pattern, I cut the pattern out, it's, it's huge. The pattern, when it came back from the printers, was absolutely massive and they condensed it down. Um, and I spent almost two evenings cutting that out. I've gone with the advice of others that have made this. I've actually gone for a size uh, three with this one. I made the named uh, kilo wrap dress in a four, but that's oversized anyway. But um, someone told me that this does come up very, very big. So I have cut out three. Now, I'm not great at um, trying to pattern out. I just, I just go for it. So it wasn't too expensive, this fabric. And I'm just going to take it slowly, which is very unusual for me. Normally, I just go full out, head first, straight in. Once I've started, I don't like to stop a project. But this project... It requires inserting sleeve heads, uh, shoulder pads, and some invisible snap buttons. So all new techniques that I've not used before. But from the Kilo Wrap Dress, I love their instructions. And just looking at these ones now, I've taken my time, I've took it to bed, had a little read before I go to sleep of some of these instructions, but these really nice. 
And I actually prefer illustrations in my instructions rather than pictures. I feel that I can kind of understand what's happening a little bit more. But yeah, oh, that looks like it's gonna be difficult. And I hear about people birthing their coats. So I might have to do a video about how that comes along. But I really can't wait. Now it's almost October. I need to get on with this really, because I want this to be done at least by, I'd say, December at the latest. So yeah, here is the start of, is it gonna be mayhem, chaos? But here's the start of the challenge. You might as well challenge yourself, but yeah. Right, thank you ever so much for watching. Oh, I feel like, look at this, it's huge. It's just sitting on my lap. Um, thank you ever so much for watching today. Again, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.